What's up guys, welcome to your fourth WX tutorial and this is going to be a real quick tutorial on how to get um, input from the user. Now all these frames in Windows are nice and all but eventually we're going to need to get some input from the user if it, you want to actually make this a useful program in one way or another. And there are a bunch of different ways to do that but in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use something called a message dialog. And these are those boxes that pop up be like do you want to continue? Yes, no. Or um, do you agree to terms? Yes, okay, whatever. Uh, let me just show you pretty much what I'm talking about. First, make a variable or object and set it equal to WX message dialog. And make sure to put a period in between there as usual. Message DIAL dialog. Now, this is going to take um, some parameters. The first parameter is the parent and I'm just gonna put none because I don't want to have parent I can put panel if I want but um anyway it's not important the next parameter is what you want the question or statement to be so I'm gonna make this a yes or no checkbox so I'm gonna say do I have the best tuts aka tutorials so after this and let's put a question mark right there so this is the question in our checkbox after this, the parameter it takes after this is the title of the box. Actually, let's just name it title because I'm running out of room on my tutorial. And the last tutorial that it's going to take in this, uh, or excuse me, the last parameter it's going to take in this tutorial is the style. So let's go ahead and put wx.yes in caps underscore, not plus, no. Since this is going to be a yes, no checkbox. So we have, it doesn't have any parent. Here's the question, here's the title, and you're gonna have the options of yes or no. So in our next line, what we wanna do is take whatever they checked, either yes or no, and store it as a variable so we can use it. So let's just write answer. I'm gonna name an answer, you can name yours whatever, as usual. Box, or whatever your object is, show M-O-D-A-L, and I don't even know how to say it, but what show modal is, or model, whatever, is the value of this yes or no. So if you check yes, it's going to be yes, no, it's going to check no. And if I remember correctly, which I probably don't, instead of storing the text yes or no, I think it's going to store integer, probably like 0 or 1 or negative 1 or 1 or negative 1 or 0, one of those. But anyways, that's a story for another day. But anyways, it's going to be stored in the variable answer. Um, if we didn't have a variable to store the information, then why even get it? But anyways, when you're done with that, you want to get rid of your box. So just write destroy. And this will um, end your box. So, well, plain and simple. So let's go ahead and run this program. And let's see if I got it right. Do I have the best tuts? Again, remember the title's up here. Let's see if we can get it. Bam. So we made a message dialog. This is what this whole entire thing is. First it takes the, this is not important. Do I have the best tuts? That pops up is the question. The title pops up is the title. And this yes, no pops up as a yes, no. So whenever I click either yes, it's gonna be stored, and this is from last tutorial. If I click yes, then answer is gonna be equal to yes. If I click no, answer is gonna be equal to no. And once that variable is stored, then the box destroys itself. So another thing um, that you might want is, and again, we're going to be going over these styles in uh, probably a couple of tutorials from now, but it's just an OK checkbox. And let's just say, um, go on or something like that. It wouldn't be a question since you just have OK. Now, once you run it, and it says, go on you just have a plain old okay no options no yes or no so go ahead and click that and then you can move on so that's how you make a basic message dialog it's called and again you can use your styles in your last parameter have a okay or a yes no if you have a yes no it's often useful to use this variable to store the value of whatever they checked so you know what they checked so thank you for watching. Um, in the next tutorial, I'll be showing you some other ways to get input from the user. 
But again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.